everyone and welcome back to Sideshow. I'm Wendy Lee and in this video I'm going to invite you to bullet journal with me. That's right, you heard it correctly. We're going to do some bullet journaling but we're going to do it geek edition. So bullet journal is essentially, it can be anything you really want it to be. It can be a journal where you write down, you know, you kind of recount your day, you redo a little bit of reflection or it can be your planner, it can be your goals, it can be your tasks list, shopping list, have a tracker, it can be so many things and the best part about bullet journaling is that you can make it all in your own. You can change the layout from one month to the next if you want to until it works for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my bullet journal at the beginning of the month. So let's get started. So I went ahead and sketched out what I wanted to do for May. As you can see, I've got May sketched out here just in pencil so I can go back and erase and correct if I need to. And I got little doodles. Don't judge because I am not an artist. I can kind of doodle, but I try to do like a little Millennium Falcon here. I try to do a little uh, TIE Fighter. I have a couple of lightsabers throughout this page. So let's go ahead and fill that in. done with the title page we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next page and what I like to do is the month at a glance so I can always refer back to this page and write down any sort of important appointments dates that are upcoming so I have it all just on one page For the next two pages, I like to use this space to write down my goals for the month, my tasks for the month, any sort of creative ideas when it comes to any other things that I am doing. Um, you can do anything here. You can, if you're really into social media, you can put a social media schedule of when you want to schedule your posts and ideas that you want to do for your posts and anything like that can go on these two pages. And the final page we're going to work on is the habit tracker and like I talked about at the very beginning of this video, I usually do about 8 habits I don't want to keep track of. They usually will change from month to month, um, especially something that I feel like I need improvement on or I want to, well, make up habit out of it. I used to actually draw in the little boxes of the month and I realized that just took up way too much time. So I have a little stamp that I use to lay out my page but if you like to draw the little grids go ahead and do that. I just took the lazy way out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I can't wait to see what you're gonna put in your bullet journal spread. Go ahead and make sure you are liking this YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe, and of course follow SciShow on all social medias and don't forget to let your geek side show. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.